Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how you can close a tab or a window created using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add the script file at the bottom, which is script.js. We need one div element here and two buttons. Let's make it open. Just copy and paste it. Make it close. Give it a ID of open. Give it a ID of close. Save it. Now go to style sheet. Select body element. Text line will be center. Select div element. Display will be inline block. Select the button element. Make the padding 10 pixel and 20 pixel. Save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. So here logic is pretty straightforward. On the click of this open button, I want to open a tab or a window. And on the click of this close button, I want to close that tab or a window. So let's go to JavaScript file. Let's select both the buttons. So it will be btn open first. So id here is open. Just copy and paste it. It will be close. Same goes here. We need one global variable here. Let's make it my tab. It will be undefined. You need to add a event listener to the btn open and to the btn close. Event will be click. This is the handler function. Simply copy and paste it and make it close. So to open a window, there is a method window.open. You need to specify the URL. Let's make it google.com. Okay. I want to open it in a new tab. So second parameter will be underscore blank. I need a reference of this tab. So my tab will be equal to this. Okay. Now when I will click on this close button, I want to check first if my tab is defined. If it is defined, there's a method my tab dot close. That's it. Now just save it, go to browser. Click on this open, you can see we got this tab. Now when I will click on this close button, this tab will be closed. You can also open a new window. So you need to specify here height and the width. So let's make the height 500 pixels and width 500 pixels. Save it, go to browser. Now when you will click on this open button, you can see we are getting a new window. The moment when you will click on this close button, this window will be closed. Also, if you want to close this window after a certain time period, you can make use of set timeout method here. So let's make use of it here. This is a function which I want to execute after three seconds. Okay. Just copy this piece of code, paste it here, save it, go to browser. Now let's click on this open button. You can see this is the window. After three seconds, it will close automatically. See? So that's it. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.